this is a video to teach you how to cast on for crochet and then do a single crochet. So first you start with a snip, slip knot. Uh, you make a little loop and you turn it over and pick up the yarn from that side. So you kind of make a little pretzel shape and bring one of the crosses through the pretzel. Then you take your crochet hook and you slip it through the loop. Uh, the way I hold my yarn, uh, both with crochet and with knitting, is I hold it in my uh, fingers like this, and then I lift my finger, my pointer finger, which makes a nice kind of tension right here, which makes it easier to bring yarn through and a little less work. So. I hook the yarn and I bring it through the loop. And notice that I kind of tug a little bit once it's through the loop just to make sure it's not too tight. Because when it's too tight, often people will have trouble uh, picking up stitches through the loops that they need to do later. So you bring your yarn through. Usually I come up from under the yarn and I t turn the crochet hook and there we go so that that's kind of how you do it so you bring the crochet hook under turn it and bring it through and it might seem really easy when I do it on the video and then you pick it up and it's really hard don't worry about it it's just kind of getting used to how you hold the yarn and how you hold the, the hook. So when you start your first row of crochet, it's slightly different so you, um, than when you start your second row. So, so for your first row, you stick the crochet hook through one side of each V, because you'll notice there's several Vs. So you put your crochet hook through, I'm going to call that the back loop of that crochet V. So you bring it through there. Don't do anything else except then you hook yarn through and bring it through both loops. So notice you always have one loop that is on your hook. And then you go into the back loop of that V, bring your yarn through, and then you hook yarn and bring it through both loops. So you always start with one, then you pick up another, and then you bring yarn through both, which makes one loop. So pick up another, bring yarn through, and then you have one loop. So you're going to basically do all of the stitches that you made. So I will just go ahead. I'm not going to do this too quick because I want to make sure you see what I'm doing. So you can kind of practice along with this video. You can pause it whenever you want because that's kind of the beauty of videos. You can kind of look and say, hey, I didn't see that. So hook it around, bring it through. And that's the end of that. All right, so then you make one more loop, just like when you're cra uh, casting on, you make one loop. And then notice that there's one V right here. I'm going to go into both sides of the second V. So this is my second row of single crochet. And I pick it up like that, bring yarn through, and then go into the next two sides of the V. So I go right under the, uh, there, bring yarn through, and then hook yarn through and bring it through both. So it's the same process except that instead of going through the back loop, I'm going through both the front and the back loop. So that's what both sides of the V are called, the front loop. Uh, the front loop is this one that's really close and the back loop is the one that's just slightly farther. Um, in this video, we're just going to be going through 
both the front and the back loop for your second row of crochet. And this is single crochet. If you want, I will make a video for a half double, double, or triple crochets. Um, I, but a single crochet is mostly what you use when you're doing amigurumi, which is uh, a portmanteau of two Japanese words. I'm not sure what the words are, but I know that they mean uh, animal and uh, yarn or something similar like that. You can uh, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Okay, so that was casting on, doing your first row of single crochet, and then doing your second row. Uh, to go on to your third row, you just make another loop like I just did, you turn it around, and then you start in that second uh, loop from the top, and then you keep going. All right.